if you get a pension where your employer pays X percent of your salary into a pension fund monthly and you cannot access the fund until retirement? Mm. Do you need to pay zakah on the value of the pension fund every year or just pay if or when you actually start receiving income from the pension after retirement? Okay, good question. See, uh, one of the conditions of uh, zakah is full ownership. Yeah, because uh, Allah Jalla Ala says, uh, min amwalihim, amwalihim. Yeah, so your wealth from this, they, 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 and the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam instructed Mu'ad take from yeah, their wealth, same meaning. Okay. So they said full ownership, something that you don't own or halfway, okay, then it is very likely that zakah is not to do on it. So now, pension, uh, if the pension is accessible to you any time, for example, you say to them, listen, I want my pension today. So they will give it to you tomorrow or you know, within a week, something like this. Then this is, they are holding it as an amana and you are holding it or you have it in a safe. Okay. Imagine a, a safe, yeah? So your money is there, you can go access the safe, the money whenever you want. Correct. Okay. So then you give zakah on it on a yearly basis. But if they say, no, 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 this pension, you cannot get it, yeah, unless you are retired. Then once you are retired, if you receive it as a lump sum, then you give zakah once, just to be on the safe side. Once you receive it, give. 2.5%. If you receive it as what? As a lump sum. Okay. Now, the other case, you don't receive it as a lump sum, and this is the case in most pensions, isn't mm -hmm. it? So you start receiving an alternative salary, a salary. Okay. Okay. Your pension Correct. as a salary, monthly salary. Then that is money that will be as a salary. Whatever is spent is already spent. Okay. For your daily expenditure or uh, expenses or yeah that is spent a check at the time you set for your zakah let us say you set it as the fifth of ramadan or 10th of ramadan on that day on that day a check yeah and let me say to the brothers and sisters a check four things mm -hmm. number one any cash you have, yeah? Okay. Whether cash in your pocket, cash in, uh, what is it, under bank. the carpet, yeah? <laughs> this is, uh, okay? Or in the bank or, yeah, wherever. Whether here or in another country, okay? Mm -hmm. Whether in pound, in dollar, in... Uh, any other currency. Any other currency, okay? Number two, a check any gold or silver that you have. Some people might be, you know, hoarding gold and silver. Yeah, typically from subcontinent countries, we don't normally generally have This gold. is, yeah, this is the jewelries. Okay. Okay. The jewelries, there are two views. One view says, give zakah, and, which is the Hanafi view, and one of the Hanbali views, and I go for this to be on the safe side, and okay. the other view says, no. But some other uh, people, buy jewelry or sorry buy buy gold, gold and silver just to keep it okay better than keeping money that's correct so whether jewelry is as we said or just uh what what is it called uh, gold bar go, gold bars or okay. ounces or okay. yeah so this is number two gold or silver okay number three is stocks and shares okay stocks and shares that you are buying and selling them constantly because then the stocks themselves become commercial commodities mm -hmm. yeah okay number four is any uh, saleable items commercial commodities and uh, that's why many brothers who are doing and sisters who are doing business uh, on uh, online through Amazon or through other platforms, maybe zakah is due on okay. them. You mean the online trade? Online trade. Okay. All types of online trade. They need to check. Yeah. 
okay. let alone a person is, for example, selling, um, you know, uh, dresses like the nice soap that you have, mashallah, today you yeah, have a okay. nice soap, yeah, or uh, any other things. Even restaurants, there is no zakah in the fixed assets, but there might be zakah in the what they, the saleable items. Okay. Yeah. So they need to check. So this is the fourth item. Yeah. Okay. And then add the total value of the four items. Okay. How much it came to? Let us say seventeen thousand something. Seventeen thousand. Then a check. How much you are? Uh, how much you owe people? Whereby you have to pay it within the coming lunar year. So if you give your zakah uh, on 10th of Ramadan, by the 10th of Ramadan, next Ramadan, how much you have to pay okay. to people. Yeah? Not after that. So that you can deduct it from your pot or your, um, uh, what is it, poll. Yeah? You can deduct it from that. And we also, the fourth point or the other point, to be on the safe side, add to it any money that is coming to that uh, people owe you and they are going to pay to you within the coming uh, 12 lunar months. The total, okay. give 2.5% and that's it. If you're adding voluntary contribution on top of the company's contribution, do you need to pay zakat on the additional contribution amount? The pension fund is Sharia compliant. Yeah. Okay. Leave the word Sharia compliant. Okay. okay. Let us talk about funds. Now, your contribution, it is the same as the contribution of your employer. If you have access to it anyone, anytime you want, then treat it as a safe. Okay. So you have to give zakat on a monthly basis. If you can't yeah, access it whenever you want, then treat it as we said previously.